Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, October 1st. Welcome to the first day of Vlogtober. So, surprise, we decided to do a Vlogtober. I mentioned at the end of Vlogus that we could possibly maybe do Vlogtober. And you wanted to avoid it. So, we're going to go for it. We're going to try it just like we did with Vlogus. Not going to make promises, but Hi. Vlogus went really well. So, we'll see how Vlogtober does. But if we get too busy and everything, then we may not finish it. We may go back to our regular schedule. We'll see. But uh, we're gonna try it because we had fun with vloggers. So, Rabbi wants to say hi. Hi. You know what I made? I made a sword. I made a sword. Well, I'm not. I'm still awake. I got off work last night and I was editing. Today's Saturday. I was editing Wednesday's vlog. So I wanted to get that up and done. So this evening I can don't have to worry about it after I wake up today. So I haven't been to bed yet. It's 9.20. I got off at 5 o'clock this morning. So I have to go to bed here. But the boys are up. Marco's over there eating some cereal. I'm over here. It's oatmeal. Oh, oatmeal. Sorry. Paris is awake. Aren't you? Aren't you? Brad's in here somewhere. Is uh, taking a shower? I don't think he's taking a shower. Oh, he was. No, he's brushing his teeth. Say hi to the first day of Vlogtober. Hey, I thought I was supposed to start that. Well, I started it so I was already awake. Hi, y'all. <laughs> y'all. Okay, good night, y'all. I thought I was going to be asleep, so I told Brad, well, you can start it. Just make sure you say it's the first day of October. But since I was awake, I went ahead and started it. So, anyway. I slept for another 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to get ready to go to bed here so if I can get up when Brad and the boys get home. Uh, they're not going to the races tonight because our niece Kaylin's not racing, so I don't know what we're going to do. I think we might go out to eat or something. So, I need to hurry up and get to bed so that I can wake up and uh, be ready by the time they get home. Brag us off work. Brag us off work at five. Okay, so we're on our way to work and I forgot the kids' lunch. <laughs> so we turned around and came back and, excuse me. Their sister, Olivia, is getting her hair done today. We're putting some pink in it for breast cancer awareness for October 1st. So she wants pink in her hair for breast cancer awareness. And then um, Gabby and Gina's coming too. So they'll get to spend the whole day pretty much with them because I'm doing their, their parents' hair too today. So they're coming in at noon and then they're, they're our last clients of the day, I, I believe. So. Um, hold on. Marco's all confused. <clears throat> oh, I was gonna holler at him, tell him to make sure he locked the screen door too. Weird. We've been having some crazies around in the neighborhood. Um, and so I've been making sure the screen door and the other door is locked. So. they're the last two clients for the day because I'm having to bleach his sister's hair and it's like black hair so it'll take a while for it to bleach out I'm hoping not and then she's wanting pink in it and then I'm coloring and cutting their parents hair too today so with all that going on it'll take up my full day from 12 to 4 so It'll be good to see the girls and all that. What's the last one on? And your first name? Tammy? 
He's reading my book. Come on, let me go. Just two seconds, I'm sorry. Alright guys, so I just woke up, I slept, and it's about 4.30 almost now. Um, I'm going to get in the shower here and shave so we can get home, or when Brad gets home, I can be ready when he gets home with the boys. And like I said, I think we're going to go out and eat dinner tonight since they don't go to the races tonight. So I um, wanted to kind of do something since they're usually gone on Saturday nights. So first of all though, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be melting today. I figured I'd melt something since I have so many wax melts to go through. So in the living room, I'm gonna do Cider House Donuts. I'm gonna have three in my electric warmer, three cubes and then three cubes up in my centerpiece. So I showed you this before, but this is where, I can smell them already. It smells really good just on just smelling them now on cold. It's, they smell really good. So, put my uh, three there. Turn it on. Oh gosh. There we go. And then, I'm going to put. I don't think I have any. I don't have anything in there. My other three up there. Turn it on back here if I can get to it with the fall decorations here. There, put that in there. And we'll show you our fall decorations. Um, either today or tomorrow, maybe. Haven't showed those two yet. Okay, and then in the bathroom, I'm going to, I'm gonna put pumpkin snicker, snickerdoodle. I know some people don't like pumpkin bakery scents in their bathroom, but I don't mind it so much. So I'm gonna get those in the bathroom here in just a second. Okay, so I have these in the bathroom. My pumpkin snickerdoodle. These are from Estate Home Fragrance. I think my mom got my mom got these for me, but I can't remember. I think she got them at some grocery store or something. I've never heard of that brand. Anyway, so I'm gonna light my tea light here. I have it in. Oops, knocking the toothbrushes down. I have it in my little Boo tea light holder here in the bathroom. I'm gonna put that there. Put that on top of there and see how these do. And I will let you know how they do by the end of the evening before I go to work. So, all right, so I'm gonna go and get in the shower and shave before Brad and the boys get home. All right, so now we're out. Brad and the boys got home and now we're leaving to go eat. And I they forgot my camera at work. I forgot his camera at work, so I'll have to swing by there and get it. If we have time after we eat. And uh, I think we're gonna go to Olive Garden to use Joan's gift card that she got us. Our subscriber Joan has the gift card for there. So we'll go there. Normally we don't go to Olive Garden so much anymore because it's really expensive anymore. It didn't used to be so expensive, but it seems like uh, the last time we went, it was like really expensive, especially for four people. So this gift card will help out a lot, so we'll go ahead and go there because we haven't been there for a while. So sounds good. We'll head there. Hopefully, it won't be too long of a wait. Oh, look, there's my car. Somebody stole my car. No, that one's all rusted. It's just like mine. It looks like yours, but it's like mine, but it's rusted. Hey guys, someone steal Brent's car. See? Looks like it. Stole. All right, so we're here at Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. We'll see how long of a wait it is. It's 6:15, so hopefully it won't be too bad yet. We'll see. All right, so there's a 15 minute wait, 15 to 20 minute wait, so that's not too bad. It doesn't look very busy, really. So, there's, there's homecoming kids behind you. Homecoming, 
scene behind me. All right, so we got seated. We only had to wait like barely five minutes, so that's good. So now we're gonna decide what we want to eat. I've been here for a while, so maybe they have some new stuff that I haven't tried before. Okay. All right, we got our salad, and we got the breadsticks, and Ralphie's doing his little sticker book here. All right, we got our food. I got garlic rosemary chicken is what I got with mashed potatoes. What'd you do with your silver? And I put his other fork over there. It's over there underneath your thing. Oh. There you go. Ralphie got mac and cheese and french fries. What oh, a meal. Yeah, you know what? I'm crazy. What a meal. And grapes. He always gets exactly what we're, you know, he always gets chicken tenders at Mexican restaurants. And hey, he gets guys, macaroni and cheese and french fries at the Italian restaurant. Have you ever saw a person eat fried with your fork? Mm -hmm. I guess we have now. Marco got, what is that again? Chicken, uh, chicken. Eggplant. Eggplant. Mm -hmm. and spaghetti. Eggplant and spaghetti. Fried eggplant. Oh, fried eggplant and spaghetti. Um, I got the no, five cheese ziti. Five cheese ziti. Five cheese ziti. All right, we left Olive Garden. How was dinner? Good? I, I loved it. It was good. I'm full and need to take a nap. And now I'm freezing. It's cold outside. Ooh, it's chilly. This you got shorts Paul on. is here. Short sleeves? I know. You're the one that thinks it's 180 well, degrees outside. I wear shorts because I have to at work. Because I get hot at work. Because I work hard. <laughs> oh. I do. Come to my work and see how hard I work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I work hard too. So we got home. And I thought I would let you know how the wax melts are doing. The, uh, what were the cider house donuts? Yeah, the cider house donuts smells good. It was like you're baking something in there. It's died down a little bit. It was really strong when we left, but it got home. It's a little bit lighter, but it's still, still, still good. Oh. And then the one in the bathroom that I had, what was that? Pumpkin snickerdoodle? That one was okay. It was a lot lighter than the other one, though. So, but I would definitely recommend the cider house donuts. This one's really delicious. So, just want to let you know that, and now I'm getting ready to uh, get my stuff together to go to work. All right, so I'm making my lunch here, and then I'm headed to work. Brad left with the boys to go get his camera because he left it at work. And then uh, I think he might be going to Sisters because they got a new place they were moving into, so I think he might be going there. I'm not for sure. But anyway, all right, I'm headed to work. Hopefully, I have a good night tonight. All right, guys, so I went to the store, or salon, I should say, got my camera and um, let Jeffrey drive. Look at this silly cat over here, watch. Now she's gonna lay down. Let's see if she does it again. There's, there. She's after the magnet on the screen door. <laughs> she's so silly. There's Paris. She's just kind of chilling, checking things out, looking for food, but we didn't eat here tonight. All those totes was all the fall and Halloween stuff, and I gotta um, take them all out, hopefully tomorrow, to uh, the shed, clean the house back up. Got all this crap laying around. But I'm helping Marco study for a science test right now. The what? The um. The P and E. So, anyways, Ralphie's in the shower, and I started a load of. Well, I folded what was Jeffrey and Katie's, and put them in a basket. Had Jeffrey take them downstairs through Marco's like socks, boxers, and like sweatpants and stuff in the dryer because I washed them last night, but I didn't get to switch them over because I fell asleep. 
and then I just put his jeans in the wash. And Ralphie, let me show you this real quick. Ralphie, on the other hand, okay, I've washed Ralphie's clothes. This is his laundry basket. We need to get him another one, but this one works for now. So that's his clothes that's dirty. And I've washed his clothes. And those are the ones I still have to wash. And this is Ralphie's closet. So this is Ralphie's clothes. All the way back there. And then, this is crazy guys, this is ridiculous. After that, I have no more room. So, all of his clothes are hanging in the laundry room too. And I still have to wash what's in the laundry basket. That's why I don't do Ralphie's laundry that much. And Marco's just as bad. Like, I, I don't wash his shirts. He don't have that many jeans or anything right now. But he has tons of shirts, so I don't wash them every time I do his laundry. I only wash like his long pants, his jeans, and then his like underwear and boxers and all that that he wears and his socks. And that's about it. And Ralphie, I'll do the same thing, but he was running out of um, shirts. So I, so when I wash the shirts, I wash them all. But then I put the ones I just washed in the very back of the closet and in the laundry room. So he wa wears everything at the beginning like people probably wonder, does this kid ever wear the same shirt? Because I probably never see him in the same shirt that much. But he does. It's just months later. This cat. I'm telling you. She's something else. She's like a fish. She's like full of it tonight. She's a fish catcher. Did you like fishes? Watch out, uh, Ralphie. Okay, look what Ralphie did today, guys. I have him put in an ice pack. Come here over here in the oh. light. Watch out. I don't know if you guys can see it, but oh, the bump's going down. Can I see it? Hold on. So he it. fell, but you can't really tell, but it's knotted up, and then he has that mark above his eyebrow. Like, he didn't even cry. He just came in, blood running down his head. I was like, oh god. You were like, what? I was like, oh god, that hurts. But I didn't cry though. I'm tough, you know when I cry. Yeah, he's pretty tough. Like, if he starts crying when he gets hurt, that's when I freak out. Otherwise, I don't freak out. But I seen blood, and I was like, I was like, holy cow! Like he's bleeding pretty good. And then um, their sister's um, parents were there, and she's an RN, and she was like, oh, he's fine. He just got a little cut, and um, it looked like a scratch at first. And she said a knot, but he's fine. He don't need stitches. But I seen the blood, so I went running over to see if he was okay. Anyways, because he wasn't crying, but I seen the blood, so kind of freaked me out because it was quite a bit of blood. I just want to make sure he was all right. <laughs> all right, guys, I am home from work. Had a pretty good night at work last night, so um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. So I'm just getting ready to eat me some cereal, and then I'm gonna head to bed so I can get up when Brad gets off work 
at home with the boys. He gets off at three today, so um, he gets home a little earlier on Sundays than what he normally does. So um, I want to kind of be up and around when they get home. So yeah, so this will be it for the first day of Vlogtober. I'm going to try really hard not to say Vlogist. <laughs> Vlogist, I tried really hard not to say Vlogmas. Now I'm going to want to say Vlog... Vlogist. It's Vlogtober. Hopefully I won't mess that up this time. But don't hold your breath. So, had a good dinner last night. Oh, and Vlogtober, in case you didn't know, I didn't mention it. It's where you vlog every day in the month of October. Just like Vlogist, you vlog every day in the month of August. And Vlogmas, you vlog every day in the month of... December. So, we're going to try to vlog every day in the month of October. So anyway, we had a good dinner last night. Thank you again, Joan, for the gift certificate for Olive Garden. We so appreciate it. Dinner was awesome. And yeah, so that's about it for the first day of Vlogtober. Thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogtober day number two. Good night. <laughs>